Hey everybody, it's Josh Basinger of Basinger's Disc Golf Channel and Team RPM Discs, and this is my 2021 in the bag. All right, hey everybody, Josh here, and this is my 2021 in the bag. So some of you may not know, but RPM Discs has picked me up for the 2021 season on their tribe team. So huge thank you to RPM Discs for putting me on their team. Um, I'm gonna do a little in the bag because uh, lots of people have asked me what I'm throwing, what I'm putting with, a lot of stuff like that. So we're gonna go with a 2021 in the bag. So starting off right off the bat, I'm putting with the Magma Soft Tuis. Uh, these putters are so soft. I'm gonna show you a little bit of flex on these. This is my main putting putter. As you can see, very, very, very gummy here. It's like a rubbery kind of blend. Uh, this, the Magma plastic feels outstanding for putting. And uh, as most of you know, I prefer a softer putter as, anyway. So these Magma Soft Tuis, as soft as they are, they feel outstanding. Uh, they're very shallow uh, putter. Uh, I have very small hands uh, for a old man, so uh, these putters feel absolutely great in my hands. So right off the bat, uh, this is my main uh, Tui putting putter. It's kind of pinky with a little blue stamp there, as you can see. This is my kind of backup. Most of you know from videos, I kind of like to try and keep one in my, in my hand while I putt, and that's uh, mainly because of uh, when I do putting practice, uh, I will do that. Uh, you know, put a few a stack. So I try and keep a stack in, or at least one in my hand. So moving on outside of that, I'll go ahead and show you what's up here. Right quick, shout out a little bit of uh, Joe Mass Pro CCDG uh, Inspirations DGC. I absolutely uh, got my little birding lifeless pins. I'm a avid birder. Some of you may or may not know that. So this shows that I've seen 25, 50, and 75 birds. I've got 100, just haven't thrown it on here yet. And we've I've saw, far surpassed 100 bird species I've seen. So I uh, got my BDGC patch right there on the front and up top, not a whole lot. Just a, a couple more uh, practice uh, putters, the uh, twoies again, once again. So uh, four of those, as I said, this one right here, you can see is my main one. So before I get started in a round, that's what I'm putting with. Um, next up, you're gonna see a little trend here. I have another Magma Soft Tui for my throwing putter. Uh, this one's really understable. It's uh, 171 gram, so a little bit lighter. It's not quite as soft as these other, my putting putter Magma Soft Tuis, but it's kind of beaten into that. Uh, this is a great one for like, uh, hold it on some hyzer, throw it uh, and flip it up, get some good turn on it. It's just a understable uh, throwing putter. Uh, great for those turnover shots. These are, uh, uh, this Magma Soft uh, baseline is a lot more understable than the Premium, which I'm going to show you now. So next up is my Atomic Tui, which is uh, obviously same mold, but uh, a little bit more stable. I wouldn't say stable. They're not overstable by any means. They are understable putters, but uh, this one's going to be a little bit less understable for that one. So if I definitely need to go left, me being a left-handed player, uh, I'm definitely going to be throwing this one. This one I can actually kind of power down a little bit and get it to fly fairly straight, but still a little bit of turn. After that, I've got a couple more uh, throwing putters. Uh, these are my Ruru's. Um, this one right here, you can see, is the nice infinite disc stamp on there. Uh, it's a 172, and uh, this one is a Atomic as well. And uh, this one, uh, it's, these are pretty much dead straight, the Ruru is. It's a really deep putter, as you can see there. Um, it feels uh, really good in the hand for it to be as deep. And once again, go back to my small hands, don't know why, but uh, it feels actually really good for it to be as deep as it is. Um, uh, this one is pretty much dead straight, maybe even a little bit of turn if I really torque on it. Uh, this is a Cosmic Glow and uh, it's uh, a little bit more stable than what this one is. So this is the regular Ruru stamp you can see on there. Try and show that off. Uh, 
another thing that kind of drew me to RPM discs, obviously, as I said, being a bird watcher myself, are the bird stamps. All of uh, their discs are named after the uh, Maori names for birds, so pretty cool. Those are my uh, throwing putters and putting putters. Next up, we'll go to my mid ranges. Start off with the P Waka Waka. So I'm bagging two P Waka Wakas. Uh, I'm gonna call it P Walk for short most of the time. Uh, this is a cosmic P Walk. Um, it's uh, these are very understable, extremely, extremely glidy. Um, the rim in the hand, honestly, I'm not going to lie, it took a little bit of me getting used to, but uh, now that I've kind of gotten used to it, I absolutely love it. It just seems to fit right there, kind of like in a pocket, and uh, these are so glidy. I've never seen a disc uh, that you can throw uh, with a little bit of hyzer, and once it flips up to flat, it'll glide to 200 feet out in the field. You could be out there and catch it in the air. It tends to kind of slow down and lose its spin at the end of the flight. I've never seen a disc do that. So these P-Walka Walkas are so glidy and just an outstanding understable mid-range. If you like bagging an understable mid-range, make sure you check out a P-Walka Walka. Now this is the premium Cosmic Blend and this one here is the Strata Baseline. So uh, you can hear that there. This one is a lot more understable than what this one is. I can actually throw this one soft with a, a, a just a bit of hyzer and it's just going to turn 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 and never come out of that it's just hold that uh, this one the cosmic one will actually uh, I, about the same like i said a little bit of hyzer throw it soft nice and soft it's going to get up flip to flat and once it gets to flat it's just going to stay flat and straight and just keep going for days so these p walker walk is if you've not tried these out you definitely need to this Strata Blend P Waka Waka is an absolutely outstanding dish to get beginners into the sport. Uh, great understable mid range and just overall so much glide, just a great mid range. Moving on to my uh, more straight to fairly uh, stable mid ranges, I've got the Kotaku. I've got it in a couple different plastic blends. This one right here you can see is the Atomic, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, RPM has been getting some new swirls in their uh, discs, uh, mostly in the atomic plastic, and oh my goodness, they feel outstanding. Uh, this one right here, basically, uh, before I switched to 100% RPM, the thing I was worried the most about was replacing a buzz. Uh, I don't even think about a buzz anymore after throwing these Kotakus in my bag. Uh, this one right here, this is the Stradivarius baseline. Once again, as you can hear that. Stiff, similar to like a KC Pro plastic. Um, this is a first run. Uh, you can see the numbers there, 5502. So a little bit less turn than what a buzz would have, a little bit more fade. Uh, but this one right here is kind of getting beat in, as you can see. Uh, and and it's, it's starting to get kind of like a beat in buzz, to be honest. I mean, like I said, that fit that slot perfectly for me, just an outstanding straight mid range. Um, and this Kotaku here, is uh, a little bit beefier to be honest than I thought it was going to be. So uh, 5502, I would say right now it's kind of is standing up to that right there. Uh, a lot of times with companies, uh, their stuff is more understable than what they're marketed. But honestly, I believe this one was just right in line, and I was just kind of thinking that it would probably be more understable. But this is not understable by any means. I can throw this one flat, and it's definitely going to get a right turn for me. It'll stand up to a flick. Most of you know that I do not flick very often, but this will stand up to a flick. Uh, once again, just show these stamps off on there. These Kotakus are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one's 180 grams and this one is 176. So I like to keep one of each in my bag just to have a little bit of variety on my overstable to straight mid-range shots. <clears throat> Next up in the mid-range slot, this is a Kea. Uh, this is a atomic plastic and this one is a little bit more of a gummy variety of the atomic as you can see uh, it's got a little bit of glitter sparkle in there absolutely beautiful stamp on there and all of their uh, all of our PM discs have just beautiful stamps so uh, absolutely love that this mid-range is very overstable so it's kind of like in that mid-range to approach kind of speed I would say it's a five speed if I'm not mistaken uh, could be a four speed. Uh, I'll have to check that out and put that up here. Um, but the K is similar. It's going to fill that spot similar to like a Gator or an A3, something like that. 
and actually it even whistles sometimes when you really torque on it similar to what an A3 does so uh, this Kia is super beefy I ac accidentally and unfortunately lost my other Kia I had in my bag it's more of a purplish blue uh, I lost it in Florida unfortunately um, but this one I've replaced and it's still just as stable as the other one was great for a flick once again I don't do a lot of flicks but if I've got a flick and get around something this Kia is the one that I'm going to flick absolutely beautiful nice gummy great feel on the hand <clears throat> uh, wonderful mid-range definitely check one out moving on to fairway drivers right now uh, uh, RPM discs only has one disc that would be considered in that fairway driver uh, and this is a the Huia and then a Cosmic Blend check that out just just look at that for a second so uh, absolutely beautiful these are a 7502 so it kind of fits that spot of uh, like an Explorer or something like that uh, this replaced like my uh, MVP volts in my bag so uh, but these are actually more overstable than what a Volt would be, especially these newer runs. If you can get the newer runs, they're pretty stable, absolutely. So a uh, little bit of give and some gumminess to it in the atomic plastic here and just absolute swirls for days. You can see that. This one's 171, so I'm thinking in time, once it beats in a little bit, uh, it's going to definitely be like kind of straight with a little bit of fade to the end, maybe a little bit of turn. Um, this is newer in my bag because uh, I, I got some backups for my other Huya I was bagging and this one was just so swirly and so beautiful that I just had to replace it and it's a lot more stable than the other one that I had in my bag. Uh, next up I will go to the Kiwi which is a 10 speed so some companies kind of consider that a fairway and some companies kind of consider a 10 speed a distance driver so it's kind of in between. RPM uh, actually considers it a distance driver uh, first up I have two of the old run uh, Kiwis these are the older stable runs before they were retooled uh, this one I died myself as you can see uh, die job didn't turn out quite as good as I wanted it was yellow as you can see I was wanting to get go for a more purple look it kind of turned out more of a kind of maroonish pinkish but uh, this one right here at 168 is uh, going to be my roller disc I actually haven't thrown it a whole lot, but uh, as far as rollers, but this one is definitely going to be my roller one, it being the understable variety of the Kiwi uh, and uh, outstanding Heiser flip disc. Uh, then that's what this one is right here. Uh, this is another cosmic one, and uh, that's going to the older run Kiwi, which is going to be like my Heiser flip to flat, a little bit of turn, uh, just. Everybody that knows me knows that I love to rely on those Hauser flip to flat, straight, some turn. Uh, I love relying on that kind of disc, and that's perfect what the older run Kiwis are. Now, these are extremely hard to find, so um, you may not be able to find this older run. But if you look up the Kiwi, the newer run it has been retooled, and it is now extremely beefy. It is probably more overstable than any Firebird I've ever thrown. Uh, it's just completely retooled. As you can see, it's try and show off a little bit of the rim there, if you can see that. Uh, the older run is a lot sharper, and this one has a little bit more of a blunt edge. These are really flat, really overstable, great for a flick. Uh, once again, I don't do a whole lot of flicks, but if I'm gonna need to get around something with a little bit more distance than that Kaya, the Kiwi, the new run Kiwi, retooled Kiwi, is definitely what I'm going to go with. So uh, three Kiwis and uh, these two understable, and this is the new retooled Kiwi, which is very overstable. Moving on to more of my distance drivers. Uh, this uh, here is the Kotare. Uh, this one, I'm going to be honest, I've not used it a whole lot. It's really super, super flat, very overstable. It's uh, 12503, and uh, it really holds up to those numbers. Um, the Guitar A is just a flat, beefy monster. Uh, this one actually has been retooled uh, as well to make it less overstable. So uh, the, the Guitar A is definitely a very overstable disc. This is what I'm going to go for in the wind, absolutely. If I need to go right and on a windy day, that's what this guy's in there for. Uh, one thing I do want to touch on while I have this uh, Katara in my hand here, you can see RPM here 
has the date wheels on there, which that will tell you what year and month these uh, the discs were ran. Uh, that's kind of newer. Some of uh, not all of them have it, but if you can find the newer ends of stuff with those date wheels, and you find something that you really really enjoy, it's very easy to find another one. If you can get uh, you know a good look at the back of it and get the date wheels, you can see that there, and it'll show you uh, when it was ran. So a little bit easier on on that end. Um, moving on, I'm going to uh, show you now my Kahoo XGs. So uh, shout out to my friend Dustin Elmore. You can see his name in here. It's kind of upside down there, but uh, this was one. A this is an Atomic Kahoo XG that uh, Dustin actually traded in at the shop I work at, uh, and I was like, I'm going to try it out because I'd always been interested in. RPM discs and uh, I tried it out and absolutely bombed it and absolutely loved it. So I bought it and it's now in my bag and that's kind of how uh, the whole RPM thing started. So and actually today my good friend Dustin Elmore that I just mentioned that used, used to be his disc got an ace with his uh, Cosmic 2E. So shout out to Dustin. You're the man. Uh, this uh, X Kahu XG here is uh, the more flippy of the two that I have. Uh, it's great for, honestly, it's a little bit above my arm speed right now being a 13, uh, but if I throw it on a little bit of Anheuser, I can definitely get it to turn, 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 and flex and get a huge amount of distance. Um, honestly, further than I've really thrown anything, these Kahoot XGs. Uh, this one right here, once it beats in a little more, this is kind of my go-to driver right now for distance. I'm trying to use this and work it in a little bit more, this Cosmic one, uh, but it's, you know, obviously the Cosmic plastic is super tough and it's not beating in very quickly. So as you can see, that's got the XG on the back there showing you that it is a Kahu, uh, but it is the, of the XG variety, extra glide there, because they're, as you can see, domey. Um, but these Kahu XGs are the perfect disc for distance for me right now. and. To finish off the bag here, I've got just a regular Kahu. This is not the XG, this is just the regular variety of the Kahu. Um, nice and overstable. Uh, this right here is another one that I could use in the wind if I'm wanting, you know, a little bit more glide than what the Katara is going to give me and uh, definitely over stability. This Kahu right here is definitely what I'm depending on. A nice bluish kind of color there, as you can see. Once again, an absolutely beautiful stamp from RPM. They've got some outstanding stamps. So um, if you're interested in any RPM discs, uh, please stay tuned and subscribe on the channel here because I will be doing a uh, deep dive breakdown and some disc reviews of every mold the RPM makes. So if you're interested in learning more about them, uh, please stay tuned, subscribe. Uh, come see me at Halo Disc Golf and Sports where I work and uh, you can try out some of mine here in my bag behind the shop or get you some at the shop where I work at. So once again, huge thank you to RPM Discs uh, for putting me on the team for 2021. Get your hands on some of these molds and I promise you will not be disappointed. Uh, thank you once again, RPM Discs and my lovely girlfriend, Amanda, for helping me with this in the bag. Uh, please subscribe, leave a comment and tell me what mold you are most excited about trying out from RPM discs. Uh, not really a whole lot more to go through my pockets. I do have a few birdie bags and minis up here. As you can see, I've got the BDGC birdie bag there with the whole crew on there and just nice little purple on the back. Some minis and a couple more birdie bags, pencils, just all the necessities, all that good stuff. So keep my towels over here. I do want to give a shout out to my buddy Randy Rocket. Got a little leaf action on there. Sorry about that, but you can kind of see that. My buddy Randy Rocket hooked me up with some towels. Uh, Valley and Rocket, check them out as well. So that is going to be it for my 2021 in the bag. Thank you for watching. And as always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area. Pull up, pull up, like a winner
Oh, is it? Okay. All right. Well, I'm, it's good now, so I'll just check it and see. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.